Hello, I'm your friend Wilkie and in this lesson of light and shadow, today we are going to talk about reflections. Now we have seen reflections in many forms. We have seen reflections on water, we have seen reflections in mirror, we have seen reflections on many other surfaces uh, like uh, stainless steel, maybe aluminium, copper, so and so forth. The question really is, what is reflection? Now, simply speaking, reflection is bouncing of light on a surface. As you know, your reflection or your image will be seen the best in mirror, let's say as compared with uh, water or aluminium. And why is it so? That is simply because the surface of mirror is smoother than that of aluminium. So that tells us one important aspect of reflection and that is smoother the surface better the reflection or image. But then there are other factors that governs the law of reflection. Let us understand that as well. Now I have here a simulation which we will use to understand the question of reflection in a greater detail. So what I have here is a protractor. On the protractor I have put a mirror. This line is a mirror which I placed exactly at 90 degree. Here I have placed a source of light. Now the source of light is facing the mirror vertically at 90 degree. Now this line, this imaginary line is called a normal line. Okay. Now if I switch on this source of light, you will see that light is reflecting on the same path. That means the light is originating from here, going all the way up to the mirror, reflecting from there and coming back on the same path. Now if I were to change the angle of the source of light, let's say if I were to bring the source of, uh, if I were to bring the source of light here at 30 degree, what happens? Let's say like this. Now I have switched the source of light from here to here and then when I switch it on you will see that source of light is the light is traveling from here reflecting at the mirror and going in this direction. Notice the angle here. The light is starting at 30 degree and reflecting also at 30 degree on the other side. Now to understand this law of reflection better, we will use this diagram. Now this is a mirror, okay, and here is a source of light. The light is traveling this way, touching the mirror and reflecting in this direction. Now this line is called incident ray or the light of incident. This line which is a line of reflection is called reflected ray or line of reflection. This line in the middle is called normal and we will use the normal for reference. Now look at this that the angle of incident ray with normal and the angle of reflection with the normal line is exactly the same. In other words, the angle of incidence equals angle of reflection and that is the law of reflection.